हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो सीरीज लेक्चर ऑफ पी पी एस एंड दैट इज प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग माय नेम इज जीनल झाला एंड आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड अवर सेकेंड मॉड्यूल दैट इज फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ सी प्रोग्रामिंग एंड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड टू टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट इज अ सी टोकन एंड सेकेंड इज अ डेटा टाइप्स एंड in c token we have learn one token as a operators and c has a rich set of operators so today in this video lecture we are going to discuss about these different different operators so first of all when the question ask in exam first question is like list out different types of operators and explain any 3 to 4 operators or explain any particular operators with appropriate examples so let's see first the list of the operators then we will see each of them in detail so just see here our first operator is arithmetic operator and plus minus all are the example of arithmetic operators then after relational operators relational operators means Uh, we can define the relation between two operands then after logical operators logical operators means it is used for multiple conditions then after assignment operators assignment operator is used for assigning a value to our variable then after increment and decrement operator if you want to increment the value of variable means plus 1 or decrement the value of same variable like minus 1 then we can use increment and decrement operators and next is a conditional operator when you want to use condition in your program then by using this operator we can directly write it then next is a bitwise operators bitwise operators is mainly used for bit level programming means uh, it is uh, mostly at hardware hardware side and last is a special operators and in this special operators we have to learn two different operators let's start with very first operator that is arithmetic operator now what is arithmetic operator it is a binary operator which require two operands to perform any operation Uh, why it is called as a binary because when you want to do addition then for plus sign you have to require left and right side two variables like a plus b so that's why it is called as a binary now see which are the operators are the arithmetic operators so here plus plus is used for addition then after minus minus sign is used for subtraction then star star is used for multiplication then slash slash is used for division of two numbers and last is a percentage percentage is used for modulo now what will be the answer of using modulo operator modulo is used for reminder means suppose i am taking a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 then answer of a divided by b is equal to 2 which is quotient of our answer and when you write a modulo b then 10 modulo 5 means reminder so here reminder will be 0 so a modulo b answer is 0 and a divided by b answer is 2 so remember this thing a uh, division means quotient and modulo means reminder now how we can write the example so we have to write our c program using any one of the operator which are the example of arithmetic operators and how we can write it so for starting our program first you have to include our library and first library mandatory library is studio.h so our first statement is hash include studio dot h then after when we want to write the program or our logic then compulsory we have to write in void main so second part is a void main now i want to use addition means plus operator so uh, how many variables require for declaration 
for uh, addition of two numbers two variables is required are required here and third variable is used for storing the answer of addition so here integer a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 these two are our input variable and third is a c c will be used for storing the answer of this addition now next is a c is equal to a plus b so here plus is our arithmetic operator you can write any of the example from these operators like a minus b a into b a divided by b or a modulo b these all are the examples of arithmetic operator then finally if you want to print the value of c variable then write printf statement like printf addition is equal to now uh, for printing the value of c we have to write the control string and what is the control string for integer variable it is percentage d as we discussed in our last video session in control string in data type right and after the uh, completing double inverted comma just do comma and write the variable name which variables value you want to print on your screen that is c because our answer is stored in our c variable so when this program execute by compiler then after our output will like addition is equal to 15 so in this way we can use any of the arithmetic operators hope you guys understand this operator very well because it is very easy now move to the second operator second operator is relational operator so what is relational operator it is used to test the condition and return 1 if the condition is true and return 0 if the condition false now what is condition what is 1 what is 0 so we can't directly use these relational operators these operators always used in conditional statement what is conditional statement which we are going to learn in our third module when you want to compare two numbers like i have one variable a and second is a b and you want to check that a is max or b is max then you want to check both are equal or not then uh, a is minimum or b is minimum so that type of comparison we can do using relational operators so which are the relational operators so see here our first relational operator is less than just uh, remember the sign of all operator then second is a less than or equal to then third operator is a greater than fourth one is a greater or equal to if you want to check both are equal or not then for equal to we have to remember double equal to and remember this thing for relational operator when you want to check for comparison you have to compulsory use double equal to not single equal to because single equal to is used for assigning a value where double equal to is used for mainly comparison that's why and last is a not equal to for not equal to just do exclamation sign and one equal to this is used for not equal to so these all are the example of relational operators now how we can write the program using relational operators so see here first we have to include our library so hash include studio.h then after uh, for writing a program compulsory needed one function that is main function so write void main then after if i want to check that uh, for two numbers that which number is maximum suppose i have a and b two variables and i want to check a is max or b is max so first of all i have to declare this variable right so integer a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 here i am assigning the value at compile time you can also use the scanf function that will used at a enter the input from user at a run time now after assigning this value i want to check that which one of this maximum so use the conditional statement so write if then after in bracket condition is a greater than b because i want to check maximum that's why i am using greater than 
and this condition either will be true or will be false two possibilities so in if part we have to write true part and this condition become true then obviously a is max so in if we have to write print f a is max but when this condition become false our else part indicate as a false part so in false part write that print f b is max how this program will execute first of all check the value a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 so 10 greater than 5 check the condition true or false here the condition is true so print f a is max will be execute and our output is like a is max and this else part will be skip here but if you change the value of b variable like 50 and check the condition again then 10 greater than 50 our condition become false so in this case our if part will not be executed else part will be executed that is b is max so in this way relational operators work and you can use any of the operators in particular conditional statement and if and else are the conditional statements now move to the next operator that is logical operators what do you mean by logical operators it is used when we have multiple condition in previous example we have write only one condition that is a greater than b but we have a more than one condition uh, and you want to check for all the condition then compulsory we have to use logical operators and which are the logical operators so first operator is a logical and and double and is the sign for logical and how it will work we will see in truth table then second is a logical or for logical or we have to use double pipe and last is a logical not and single exclamation sign is used for logical not just to see the truth table how it will work first we have two input like a and b and the uh, possibilities of two input either both the input will be 0 0 a will be 0 and b will be 1 it is possible otherwise a will be 1 and b will be 0 and last is a both will be 1 1 so end operation is nothing but it is a multiplication when both inputs are 0 0 then in end operation our output is 0 means 0 means false part 1 means true part then after one input is 0 and second is of 1 then again 0 into 1 answer is 0 so in end operation again answer 0 again 1 into 0 0 when both input will be 1 then and then our end operation answer will be 1 end means nothing but multiplication and or means nothing but it is a addition when both input 0 in or our answer is 0 and when 1 is 0 and 1 is 1 then in this case 0 plus 1 means 1 same way 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 and 1 1 so 1 plus 1 is not 2 1 plus 1 means 1 because both input will be 1 so our true part will be execute in these terms and last is a not not means complement of a number when the value of a will be 0 and we use logical not then our output will be 1 and when our input will be 1 our output will be 0 it is a complement of each other so remember this truth table and how it will work so let us see with one example uh, if you want to find maximum number among two numbers then only one condition is required but if you want to find maximum number among three numbers then we have to write multiple conditions right so suppose i have three numbers a b and c and the value of a i am assigning here that a is equal to 10 b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 2 then how we can use the logical operators so first for finding a is max or not you have to check two condition a greater than b and a greater than c 
if both the condition will be true then and then uh, our true part will be executed so here just see the condition if a greater than b and and means logical and a greater than c then printf a is max and in else part if a is not max then b or c is max obviously so how it will work so here and means multiplication first condition will true then it will take as a value of 1 and second condition will be true then again it will take value as a 1 and 1 into 1 our answer will be 1 so our if part will be executed so here check first condition 10 greater than 5 condition true that's mean the value of this condition is 1 and second condition a greater than c so 10 greater than 2 again condition true so, so again it will take value as a 1 so 1 into 1 our output is like 1 so our true part will be executed that is a is max but just to change the value of any of the one variable like c is equal to i am taking 12 instead of 2 then in this case what happened first condition will be true that is a greater than b but a greater than c will be false so 1 into 0 our output will be 0 and 0 means our false part and our output is like b or c is max. So this is the function of AND operator. How we can use OR operator? In OR operator if any of the one condition true then our true part will be executed. Here instead of AND I am using OR and the value of c is equal to 12. In that case, one condition is true and one is false. So one in one plus zero is equal to one. So our if part will be executed. That is a is max. So in this way, we can use logical operators when we have multiple conditions. So hope guys, these three operators you understand very well. In next video session, we will see further remaining operators. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.